Days after the death of Congressman Don McEachin, few are willing to talk publicly about what's next for this race. But behind the scenes is a different story. Political reporter Henry Graff looks at who may try to fill the congressman's shoes. Democrats have a number of candidates who could run, including Don McEachin's widow. Meanwhile, we're also hearing from one Republican who may run. A truncated election is on the horizon for those living in Virginia's 4th District after the death of a congressman. The actions on the Democratic side. This district is very substantially Democratic, and uh, it's highly, highly likely that a Democrat will be elected to uh, succeed uh, Don McEachin. For Dems, a number of potential names to run are swirling, including Henrico delegate Lamont Bagby, Richmond State Senator Jennifer McClellan, former Petersburg delegate La Charisse Aird, and Richmond Mayor LeVar Stoney. So you got to give time for people to campaign, but you also want to have somebody in the seat quickly so that the constituents of the 4th District are not uh, unrepresented. Another potential contender, Colette McEachin. The Richmond Commonwealth's attorney is no stranger to politics. The widow would be uh, the first choice if indeed she wants to run, and that doesn't guarantee that the field would be clear. The head of the state's Republican Party says they've had no formal talks about potential candidates and will leave the nominee process up to the 4th District's Republican Committee. Well, this is a very truncated process and it will involve a lower turnout a universe of voters. But nonetheless, it will command a lot of attention. Last month, then-candidate Leon Benjamin only received about 35% of the vote on election night. But Benjamin confirms to NBC12 that he is considering another run. So we will see if uh, former candidate Leon Benjamin makes a decision to run or not. Savito says it's important to have an election sooner rather than later. A new Congress set to come into power in the new year and in January taking some critical votes. On your side of the state capitol complex, I'm Henry Graff, NBC 12 News. And under state law, the governor must call.